Hey, what's going on, everybody? Steve here, Rake and Profit, rakeandprofit.com. Coming back to you guys with another video. Hopefully, you're having a spectacular day. Today, I wanted to talk about what sells on eBay right now in terms of men's clothing. So, if you're selling on eBay and you're selling men's clothing, you're probably getting your clothing from thrift stores like Goodwill, Savers, Salvation Army maybe some mom and pop stores. So what I want to do, and I do this, you know, on a pretty regular basis, it's, it's great education for myself. And I love sharing it with you guys is I want to go through the sold listings with you. We're going to be going into men's clothing on eBay, which has sold literally within the last couple of days, last couple of weeks. So we can get a feel for the market. What's selling, what brands are selling, what styles are selling, what sizes are selling, what materials are selling, because there's many factors that go into the decision-making process of whether you should buy a clothing item or not. There's a lot of people who love selling clothing. There's a lot of people who hate selling clothing. And I found for the most part, the people who hate selling clothing, they can't figure out what to sell. They don't understand the difference between a three extra large and you know a large and why the price is differentiating. They don't understand why the weird, crazy, odd, unique stuff is selling for more. They don't understand why you know, their Ralph Lauren stuff isn't selling when everybody is saying buy Ralph Lauren. The thing is you've got to find certain Ralph Lauren items, certain designs, colors, patterns, materials, right? So when it comes to clothing, there's a million and one mistakes you can make. But with that being said, it creates an amazing opportunity for people who are willing to do the research and study the market to see what's selling. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So if you see me looking to the left, it's because I've got another computer set up. And I want to shout some people out. We got a bunch of people joining live. So if you guys are here live, let me know in the comments and do me a big favor and smash that like button down below. We got Illinois Picker in the house. Yo, yo, what's up? Derek Pierre Lewis, what's up, my man? Good morning. Just getting out of the gym myself. Chastity, how are you? What's going on? Hello there. Crazy Cross No 76, what's up? How you doing, Nancy? Adam says, hey, Steve, early here in Seattle, but never too early to learn. So in Seattle, it's probably what, 8 a.m. right now? Good to see you. Good morning. Johnny Chinga is saying, hey, from Mexico City. Mexico City in the house. Thrift and flip from Illinois. So let me know where you guys are from. I'm from Connecticut. So if anyone is in Connecticut, um, the stuff I'm going to be sharing with you guys is going to be even more relevant to you because when it comes to selling clothing on eBay, and when it comes to sourcing, it's going to depend upon where you live. There's going to be more or less opportunities, right? So some of the stuff I say might not apply to you, but I'll do the best I can to, um, you know, break things down for you. Awesome. Appreciate all the love, everybody. Robert is saying, is there any job work from home on eBay for my house and my laptop? Well, you can do that. You're just going to go have to go out and source this stuff. If you don't want to leave your house, you're going to have to do some online arbitrage. So definitely check out some of my previous videos um, that I posted this week talking about how I'm actually not even leaving the house to source books using a uh, software called eFlip. So you might want to look into that. Awesome. We got Morocco. What's up? Hey, Heather. How you doing? We got the green room in the house. Cool. So, uh, Let's get into this video right now and start to uh, go over some clothing items that you can buy and sell. So let me do a screen share. Perfect. Just like that. So you should be able to see my screen right now. And what I want to do is I want to go over a, uh, a couple clothing brands that you're going to want to be on the lookout for. Now, again, like I said, it's going to depend upon where you live. You may or may not find these where you are. But the best thing you can do is just study the eBay sold listings as much as you possibly can to become knowledgeable in terms of what brands are selling. And then, you know, you could either write down a whole entire list or um, I've got some guides that actually share, you know, all the different brands I buy and sell. So if you just look in a description, you can find it. It's there somewhere. Uh, but I recommend if you're new, just start going through the sold listings. Um, and studying on a budget. So here's a brand that I found a couple times sells really well. The brand is called Trip NYC. And uh, these are pretty uh, crazy items that you're going to find within this brand. I guess uh, 
you could say like the gothic people, people who are into that stuff. They they wear a lot of this stuff, the 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 punk metal, some of those keywords that are in the uh, description. But the the pants are always really. Um, I actually got a couple that I still have to list that I found recently. They're always really baggy. Sometimes you'll find chains hanging off of it, all different types of straps and whatnot. Um, they're really funky. Um, it's a really funky brand. There's the tag right here, Trip, T-R-I-P-P-N-Y-C, uh, made in China. They sell really, really well. I don't know if any of you guys have any experience. <laughs> Heather saying goth. Yes. I don't know if any of you guys have experience selling this brand, but it always seems to sell pretty well. You're not going to find it all over the place if you're here in Connecticut. I've only found it maybe a handful of times, uh, but definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. Definitely fits the, uh, fits the criteria criteria of the clothing item being weird and unique and odd. Not to say that goth people or anyone who wears this stuff is weird, but it's just a little outside the box. It's it's a little different. That's what I'm trying to say. And when it comes to clothing, it's better to go for the for the weirder, odd stuff. So definitely be on the lookout for this brand. So before I was going on a little rant about Ralph Lauren Polo, a lot of people say, you know, Ralph Lauren Polo doesn't sell. You can't make money with it. Uh, that couldn't be farther from the truth. Um what the truth actually is, is the, the more common mass produced Ralph Lauren polo shirts, bland, long sleeve dress shirts. Uh, those are kind of played out. There's so many of them on the market. So you want to find the stuff that's a little bit more rare and obscure. Um, and this is definitely a fine example right here. Um, we've got a uh, varsity letterman, uh, pullover sweater by Ralph Lauren polo. And if you take a look, um, here's the tag right there. I mean, just a traditional tag, but what's making this valuable is that big P, this, this Letterman um, style type uh, pullover. That's what's making this worth money, 60 bucks right here, because it's it's just rare. You're not going to find this all the time. It's unique. Um, you're not going to find six of these on the clothing rack like you will of a Ralph Lauren polo dress shirt or a polo shirt. So this is the type of stuff you want to be on the lookout for. Description reads, this may have been gently used. Uh, but taken care of. So always take advantage of this little item specifics area to add some more value and information to your customers. Definitely a good idea. I like that the seller uh, included uh, a bunch of measurements, the pit to pit, which is the chest, uh, pit to the end of cuff, across the waist and the bottom of the sweater and the shoulder. So a lot of measurements on this right here. Um, definitely a cool item. Look out for stuff like this. So I, I had to pluck this out of the sold listings and share it with you because I'm hoping that maybe if I keep sharing this in all of my eBay men's clothing sold uh, listing videos, maybe I'll attract this into my life. This is a brand I've never found. And if you guys have watched uh, some of my previous videos, then you'll know that I have been on the hunt for this brand for the longest time. The brand is Canada Goose. I want to know if anyone has ever found Canada Goose out in the wild, outside of online arbitrage or buying it from like a outlet store. Has anyone ever found Canada goose in the actual wild at a thrift store, Goodwill savers? I have been looking for this brand <clears throat> for the longest time, really high quality brand right here, obviously made in Canada, Canada goose, um, quilted. A lot of times you're going to have that, that real fur going around the hood. Uh, just a tremendous item right there. Uh, Heather, the reseller says not familiar with Canada goose brand eek. Yeah, you better get familiar with this. I don't know if you're ever going to find it, but take a look at this brand in the sold listings. Exclusive Elegance is saying a state sale found one. I don't believe you. I'm just kidding. I do. Give us some more details, uh, exclusive, in terms of what did you pay? What type of item was it? Was it a parka like this one? What did uh, what did it sell for? Because that is really freaking cool. AG Video Games has never heard of it. Yeah, definitely be on the lookout for this. I don't know if you're ever going to find it, but uh, definitely a cool brand. Another brand that's kind of similar to uh, Ralph Lauren, not in terms of like it's similar, but in terms of what I mean is a lot of people say don't buy Ralph Lauren. You got to find the right stuff. It's the same with Woolrich. Um, with Woolrich, you want to find unique stuff that's a little different because they do sell dress shirts and short sleeve shirts and they have a lot of bland items. If you start looking for kind of different things like this, like this is a denim jacket, but it's got like a cool little quilted design inside that does really well with Woolrich. This sold for $118 and 99 cents. I mean, imagine finding this for four or five bucks. I mean, you flip it for $118. I don't know how long this sat for, but that's one of the powerful things about clothing. 
Um, it is a little more long tail with, you know, compared to maybe books or electronics or, you know, different hard goods and stuff. But clothing is a cool thing to have in your arsenal to have as part as your, uh, part of your inventory, because there are certain items that will pop. And then when they pop, they pop really, really hard. A uh, description reads a little general wear through the jacket, but only adds character to it. So stuff like this is interesting. The jackets do well, uh, especially this denim style with the quilted inside. Also look for anything hundred percent wool. Wool's always going to beat out cotton when it comes to wool rich. Um, I think they have cotton items, don't they? Someone, someone help me out here, but I believe they do. It's kind of like Pendleton, right? Pendleton's known for their wool items, but they do have cotton as well and it never sells as well. So anything with some cool patterns, quilt, quilted designs inside, 100% wool. Um, if you find like the hunting jacket with the red uh, checks and plaids, that's like the staple for Woolrich. Uh, but 118 bucks right there, pretty cool. Here we've got an Eddie Bauer um, branded leather jacket. I still remember going to a, a garage sale a couple of years back and uh, I walked up and the whole place was wiped out. It looked like the resellers had previously, you know, taken everything out. It was like, 1130. It was really late in the day to be hitting a garage sale, but I saw a clothing rack that they had. And one of the things I love about garage sales, because I love selling books and I love selling clothes, <laughs> the resellers never mess with those things. I don't know why they just hate it. I think it's just lack of knowledge. But anyways, um, I remember walking up and I found a, you know, a, an Eddie Bauer leather jacket and uh, did a quick little research on my phone to see how much it was selling for, which is something you should always do before you buy something. If you're not familiar with it, just go on eBay, look up the sold listings real quick and get an idea. You don't have to find the exact one, but get a, you know, a good idea of what it might sell for and then weigh out your risk first reward. And uh, I got this for five bucks and I listed it up and I believe it sold for like 80 to a hundred dollars surprisingly, because at the time this was actually more than two years ago. This was Oh, it was a long time ago, but anyways, at the time I hadn't really messed with Eddie Bauer and, uh, you know, I was kind of under the belief that Eddie Bauer didn't sell that well, but this is a great learning lesson. Even some of the lower end brands that you think suck, if you find the right item within that brand, it could sell for good money. Right. And uh, Eddie Bauer is a great example. Same with American Eagle and Aeropostel and Abercrombie and Fitch. You find the right items. I mean, I'm telling you, it can sell for so much money, especially like American Eagle or Abercrombie, um, the camo uh, cargo shorts. Those things go for big, big money. And most of the shorts don't sell for too much. So just another example right there. Gina says, um, I found a pretty old Ralph Lauren shirt. It has a rubber patch in the shape of a circle. I can only find the square rubber patch. Anyone know anything about the circle? I'd have to see it, but that sounds unique and a little odd. So I would definitely investigate a little more. When you start finding weird things on Ralph Lauren, it typically equates to, to good money. AG Video Game says, love this new update. I get to watch YouTube and list on my phone at the same time. That's awesome. Becky says, can't keep my husband out of my cell pile. What is he doing? Going in there and listing on his own eBay or is he taking it for himself? Adam says, I sold five or six last winter, but never from a thrift store. Very cool. So let's keep investigating. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this brand. I'm sure you are uh, privy to it, but the brand is Robert Graham. Guys and gals, this brand is hot. Uh, if you could find anything weird like this, you're in for the big bucks, right? So Robert Graham is a very high-end uh, designer brand. They always have these words written on the, um, inside of the shirt. It's knowledge, wisdom. And what's the last one? I forget what it's, what it, what it says, but, um, this shirt had 28 bids on it for $136. I want to show you the, uh, the tag right here. A lot of times the tag is just embroidered on, as you can see, um, the funkier, the weirder, the more colorful. I mean, the crazier it looks. I mean, if you, Imagine yourself putting this shirt on and you're too embarrassed to go outside. That's when you know it's really good money, guys. Robert Graham is just one of those brands. Look for embroideries. Uh, look for odd designs. Look for lots of colors. Just a very awesome brand. Um, even the bland stuff sells, but it's getting a little played out. So if it's really bland and boring, you might be looking at 10, 15, 20 bucks on eBay. So try to find the stuff that's a little funkier. 
Uh, ben says, be careful of the made in China, Robert Graham shirts. Good tip. Walter says, what do you do if a buyer wants extra packing material for a lower best offer? What do you mean for, for, for a, uh, extra packing material? I've never come across that. They're worried it's going to get damaged. Try Poshmark too. Yes. A lot of these clothing items are selling really well on Poshmark nowadays too. So uh, eBay is a great platform. Also Poshmark is another amazing pl platform, especially for women's clothing, but men's clothing is becoming a bit more popular over there. Yeah. Brandy says I sold a Robert Graham shirt for $65 and I didn't even know the market. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how quick it sold, but uh, if it sold within a day or two, you probably could have got more money for it. Yeah, that shirt is fire, Thrift and Flip. Absolutely fire. So I want to go back in the sold listings and um, I want to just pick out some items that look kind of uh, interesting. Oh, here's a Charles Tire Whip. I have, I have a lot of experience selling this brand with uh, dress shirts, but I've never found, I don't think I've found a, um, a suit before. I don't think so, but uh, this is a really good brand. If you ever find a jacket or a suit in this brand, be on the lookout for it right here. It's a London brand. Check that brand out. Charles Tire Whip. Very, very um, nice brand. The dress shirts, there's a lot of them out there. I remember it used to be a lot. They used to they used to sell a lot better, um, but you know, you get 15 to 25 bucks for the dress shirts. If it's really nice, cool design, you get 30, 35, sometimes more. Uh, definitely an awesome brand to be on the lookout for right there. Um, oh, this is cool. I actually have a video that I recorded, which is going to be coming out uh, on Sunday, which talks about vintage uh, Nike t-shirts. But uh, here's a, uh, a vintage uh, windbreaker in the Nike brand. Guys, this is the type of stuff that people will pass up. Um, you know, it just looks like a normal windbreaker. Like, yeah, maybe it'll sell for 15, 20 bucks. No, look at the colors, guys. People... There are just people out there who are dying for this stuff, and they will spend a lot of money right here. You got the basketball with the uh, the Nike logo going right through it. This is big money right here, eighty dollars and ten cents on this item. Uh, here for sale is a nice nineteen eighties nineties Nike hooded windbreaker rain jacket in size large, teal black red color embroidered logo on the front, and embroidered Nike basketball logo on the back. Fairly light normal wear. Uh, and use right there. So definitely be on the lookout for that. If you're trying to figure out if it's vintage or not, um, there's definitely some good forums that you can look up on eBay, but a lot of times the tag will tell a story it just looks a little outdated, but mostly it's going to, um, you're going to be able to know based on the color scheme. A lot of times the colors are just a little different and faded and it just looks, look up vintage Nike stuff. And I have a video coming out on this, so it'll help you out a little more, but this is the type of stuff that could bring in really, really good money. Hey, Axel, how you doing? Just looking through some of the comments. Very cool. Make sure there's no questions. Um, ooh, this is good. So back to Ralph Lauren. If you want to look just, just at the tags, um, you should always look at the Ralph Lauren tags if it looks interesting. Because if you could find a purple tag, not the navy blue, I'm talking about the purple, just like this, you're in for big, big money. This is the high-end line of Ralph Lauren. Uh, if you ever find a suit or a jacket with Ralph Lauren like this, you're in big, you're in for big, big bucks. Also look out for the, uh, the cashmere Ralph Lauren polo sweaters with the purple label. Very hard to come across. These are made in Italy, but big, big, big bucks right here. 65 99 for just a polo shirt, which would typically probably sell for like 12 or $13, which is really cool. Definitely be on the lookout for the uh, purple label tag. I want to know in the comments, who here has ever found a purple label tag Ralph Lauren polo item? I know I made a couple videos about this in the past, but uh, definitely, definitely some good stuff. Uh, email recipient says, do you have a list of names to look out for? Yes. If you go into the description of my video and you scroll down under products and services, I have a guide called 101 Killer um, clothing brands and 102 killer clothing brands. So those two guides, um, have, well, that's like 203 various brands. Um, it is a paid product. So if you're new, I would just go through the sold listings. Uh, but if you want to save some time, you can check that out for sure. Those are like the best of the best. Um, yeah, I mean, Ralph Lauren Polo purple label. Can't go wrong with that. Let's see. Let's look around. If you guys see something you want me to investigate, let me know. Uh, ooh, that's nice. 
Look at that. A lot of people pass up on uh, Hickey Freeman right here, and I usually do, but this is this sold for a lot of money. Let's figure out why. It looks like it is made out of tweed. A lot of these um, tweed jackets tend to do very, very well. Now, I can tell you right now, uh, to be 100% honest, I'm not sure why it's sold for so much. Um, but I can tell you the presentation is beautiful on this item. Let's break it down. So this seller, what they have is they're using a dress form mannequin. So if you go on Amazon or eBay and just type in dress form mannequin, that's what they're using. Um, they also have a very nice, you can tell that they're using a, just a clean white, uh, backdrop. Maybe it's a wall, maybe it's a backdrop. I don't know what they're doing, but when they're editing it, they're actually like increasing the contrast. So it's a pure white background, which is beautiful. They have a dress shirt underneath with a tie with the jacket over the top of it. And I mean, the presentation is just absolutely uh, killer. They are killer. Um, look how nice this looks. That's amazing. 349 bucks. Wow, this is a beautiful store right here. I love it. This looks really good. Wow. All right. Let's keep poking around. Ooh, Cinch. I love this brand right here. This is an Australian brand. Be on the lookout for this tag. I want to show you this tag. Typically, I'll get 20, 25 bucks for one of these shirts, but they lotted it up uh, with four of them. So you're obviously not going to get as much money unless you wait it out. If you lot like three or four together, great brand to be on the lookout for. I think it has like a, what, a kangaroo or something. I don't know what, the, what is it, like a horse or a donkey? I don't know. But anyways, uh, Australian brand, Cinch, C-I-N-C-H. Be on the lookout for this brand right here. It always does really well with dress shirts. They always seem to sell quickly. A lot of four bundle, Western cowboy button front shirts, long sleeve. They got the measurements there, which is great. $53. So coming out of, you know, about 14 bucks each, probably get 20 to 25 if you sold them by, by itself. But maybe the seller got these for a dollar each from the thrift store. So let's just say they got it for a dollar each from the thrift store, or even three bucks each. You're in for 12. You ship this out, maybe another eight. You're in for 20 fees, maybe another eight. You're up to like 28, just say 30 bucks. When I mean, you made 23 bucks on just one sale, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all for a quick little flip. Cinch jeans. I haven't had a ton of success success on cinch jeans in comparison to the shirts, but they still definitely sell. I mean, if you go in here and you just type in um, cinch jeans under men's clothing, and you hit uh, pre-owned and sold, that's what I do for all different types of things. You get an idea of what the market's bringing in. So twenty. Best offer under $19.95, $8.25, $17.99, $19.99. So not bad. It just depends. Like in my area, the jeans are so expensive. The prices have gone up like crazy. So you got to know your area. If you have a Salvation Army or a fill a bag sale or you live near like a mom and pop thrift store and you get these things for two, three bucks, yeah, you'll, you'll be flipping cinch jeans all day long. But for me, my thrift stores are some of these thrift stores are just getting wacky with clothing. So you got to go on half off days or you got to stay away from certain areas. And I kind of been staying away from the jeans because yeah, the managers are just going wacky. All right, let's see what else we got here. Oh, wow. Look at this puppy. Woo! You are looking pretty girl. CC Filson. CC Filson, uh, wax jacket. Oh, if I ever saw this at a thrift store and you were like, maybe like five feet away and we both saw it at the same time, I would tackle you. I would, I'd put you in a headlock and I would get this before you. Oh, this looks so freaking awesome. Love this brand right here. CC Filson, uh, style six, two, three N. So maybe that's just the number that's associated to the tag. Oh, geez. For anyone who sells clothing, if you don't know this brand right now, you just, this, this whole 20 minutes you've been listening so far. It's just, you've just made it worth your time right here. If you, if you've never heard of this, I want you to put a, a yes, if you know this brand or put a no, if you've never heard of the brand CC Filson before, I want to know how many people are on my level right now, or maybe you're 10 levels ahead. Hmm. Just sipping on some nice hot tea right now. Who knows about email recipient? No, Steven adventure. Oh man. You guys got to step up your game. Steve Mason. Steve Mason, disappointed in you. <laughs> I'm just kidding with you guys. That's cool. Be on the lookout. Go into the sold listings after this video and look up CC Filson. Oh, now it's a hard brand to come across. Over the last five years, I've probably found this brand in 10 times. Okay. So take that into context. You're not going to find this all the time, but it's out there. 
Ooh, it's out there. And when you find it, you're going to have a lot of fun. Let me type that into the, uh, into the search and show you guys what I'm talking about here. Uh, this brand is so freaking awesome. Look at this 50 bucks. You can find the crappiest shirt. A lot of times it'll sell for like 40 or 50 bucks, 50 bucks for this, uh, 139 bucks for this, uh, vest, $87 for this shirt, 41 for this vest, 60, 70. Look at this. Even a freaking leather jacket, 20, uh, leather, uh, hat, 28 99. I didn't even know Phil Sin made those. You guys, I'm telling you, this is the type of stuff you want to be looking for with clothing. You don't have to sell clothing full time. You don't have to go out looking for clothing every single day. Like the point I'm at now is like, I just, I sell a bunch of different things, but you know, if I find something really good, I'll, I'll throw it on eBay, but I'm not going out there, you know, like I used to spending three, 400 bucks a day buying clothes. I try to pick stuff that's selling for, you know, 40 to 50 bucks plus just because I'm a busy guy. And that might be the case for you, but look at all this stuff. It's just, it's crazy. Beautiful, beautiful brand right there. Do not pass that brand up, or I promise you the next guy or girl will scoop it up and make a profit. Let's keep looking. Effing awesome. What? What is this? Oh, Supreme. Anything, anything that's associated with Supreme is going to go for a lot of money. Let's find something that you guys will actually be able to go out and find. Uh, this is a great brand right here. Cool. K-U-H-L. This is an outdoor uh, active brand right here. Uh, similar to kind of like a Patagonia. They make a lot of similar stuff. Uh, but thrift stores don't, for the most part, don't know about this brand as much as they know about like Patagonia. A lot of times Patagonia will be priced really high because everybody knows Patagonia. Cool is a great brand. K-U-H-L. Let me type that into the search bar and show you some things that are selling within this brand. Definitely an awesome brand to be on the lookout for. Let me go into pre-owned. Let me smash that sold button and let's study this brand. So if you guys are enjoying this video, do me a big favor. We got 80 people watching right now. Hit that like button. If you guys like videos like this, um, you know, of items which have sold, if you guys want me to go through and we can learn together and I could share insights and we could, you know, learn from one another. Let me know in the comments or, you know, hit that like button. The more likes there are, let's me know, oh, these guys are enjoying it. Let's, you know, let's keep making more videos. So, um, look at this guys, cool renegade men's shorts, 39, 99 right there. Here we got a cool canvas, uh, zip up jacket, 51 bucks. I'm telling you the shorts do really, really well. Do not pass up on the cool short shorts. Let me click into one right now. Yeah, Axel said just listed two cool sweaters. Already have watchers. People are watching it because it's cool. <laughs> that was the corniest joke I ever made. Um, right there, there's the little, I guess if you want to call it like the kind of like the logo right there. Um, where am I trying to click? Right here. Cool. K U H L. What's that called with the two little dots above the U? Someone help me out. Barely worn, if ever. 34 inch waist, 22. Uh, and seam. Very nice brand right there. Let's keep looking. What else guys? My goal right now is to just throw a lot of brands out at you that you can just go out and look for. Laura Piana, another hard to come across brand, but you'll, if you spend five bucks or less, it's pretty much impossible to lose money on Laura Piana. Sometimes you'll see Laura Piana associated with, um, Brooks brothers jackets. It's like the fabric company who made it. I'm not exactly sure, but um, it always tends to increase the value a little bit. Laurel Piana. Okay. So this is another thing. I'm not super knowledgeable about it, but I know it sells for good money. Sometimes this is similar to Laurel Piana with like Brooks Brothers. Sometimes you'll find it associated with another brand. Engineered garment. Okay. Engineered garment. I don't think I've ever found this before, but I've seen it in the soul listing so many times. This is like number two to Canada goose. I want to find an engineered garment. Uh, so obviously it's a brand, but a lot of times you'll see it associated with different, um, pants. And I'm going to go into the soul listings and show you what I mean. It's been a long time since I've studied this brand, but just look at this right now, look at it and respect it. Engineered garments. I don't know too much about it other than for some reason, anytime you see this brand, associated with or as the main brand, it goes for good money. Let's go into engagement ring is the first thing that's coming up. Engineered. I so spelled that wrong. Hopefully it spell check me. Okay, perfect. 
for some reason, I don't know why you guys, I told you this brand just sells really well. So, um, see, I told you it's associated with other brands. So I don't know what this is. 7166 iceberg engineered waxy 84, 8469. Here's an engineered garment jacket, 174.99. Let me know in the comments who has ever heard of the brand engineered garment before hit. Yes. Type yes into the comments. If this is something that is brand new to you, you've never heard it, say no. I want to know if, if you guys are learning some stuff here. Uh, but look at this. See, this is what I'm talking about. I think this is a Woolrich brand. And I see engineered. I don't know if it's associated to it. Let me see. Uh, this might be just a bad keyword. All right, I'm going to ignore that one. Um, let's keep looking. Here, let me hit use because I don't want to see anything new. Well, anyways, just take my word for it. You can see this stuff sells really well. For some reason, I'm not seeing a lot of these items for sale, um, but it's crazy, guys. Be on the lookout for that. I knew you guys weren't going to know that because it's just so rare. It's hard to come across. I've been looking for it for a long time. Uh, what else? Cole Haan. I actually just came across a Cole Haan leather jacket the other day, but I passed on it. Wasn't, um, wasn't selling for as much as I thought it was going to, surprisingly. Um, surprisingly Hugo boss suits do really well. Sometimes they'll sit for a while. <laughs> Look who it is. We got, uh, I don't know if you guys know, um, uh, Ronnie Hart with, uh, hearts pickers. Looks like this is his story. He sold it. That's pretty cool. Ronnie, you're doing a great job with your pictures, man. This looks freaking amazing. I love the little wood background. And, um, you know, I remember when I used to, when I first got started selling suits, I don't know if I learned from Ronnie or somebody, but I love the um, I love when you sell a suit and the main picture is the jacket on the mannequin with the uh, with the pants going over the shoulder. I think it's a very clean look. It looks beautiful. I mean, you give a big shout out to Ronnie for these pictures. It looks fantastic. Look at that. Ooh, looking good. Wow, that's funny. We ran across Ronnie's store. Yeah, it looks awesome. Yeah, but um, be on the lookout for Hugo Boss suits. Um, this is a double, um, double breasted suit right here. Uh, typically a little longer tail than just a single, but still 49 99. I can tell you right now, just knowing Ronnie, he probably didn't spend more than 10 bucks on this and sold it for 50. So he probably netted 25, $35 profit, 25, 30 bucks profit on this, which is really cool. So, um, that's awesome. Nice job, Ronnie. I, I kind of want to go into his store and see what he's selling. I think his store is. I think he shares it with the public. Hopefully he does. If not, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's see what he's been up to. What have you been selling? Oh man, looks good. This is one of my mentors. This is one of the guys who got me started selling clothing and taught me a lot of stuff. I was just talking about this brand the other day, Untuck It. Actually, I'd never never heard of it before. So be on the lookout for this brand, Untuck It. Nice store, doing a great job. I'm not going to invade in his privacy too much, but a uh, big shout out to Ronnie. So yeah, I mean, as you can see, there are so many clothing items that um, you can buy and sell. I mean, it's unlimited. There are so many. Just go through the sold listings and study and research. That's the key to this game, right? For me personally, I don't want to be going out there buying and selling 10, 11, $12 clothing items. Nothing wrong with it, and I'm sure there's people who make hundreds of thousands of dollars doing it, but I have zero interest in having uh, a warehouse and multiple employees um, just at this part of my life with, with the direction I'm going and traveling. I just have no desire for it. So I know a lot of you folks um, don't necessarily want to sell clothing full-time. You might just want to you know, buy some items and flip them here and there for 50, 60, 70 bucks, kind of add it to your arsenal. And um, you know, practicing going through the sole listings and studying and stuff like that um, is one of the most important things that you can do. That's what it's all about. Oh man, we got a 999. Oh, I love it. Uh, super chat from Rally Roots. Dropping knowledge. Congrats on 100K subscribers. Hey, I appreciate that, brother. And, um, you know, it means a lot coming from you, you know, rally roots, one of the top dogs in the reselling community right now, holding things down. So, um, by the way, congrats as well. Um, Ryan on the news, I heard you are, I think you bought a commercial plot of land, right. And you're going to be building something on it. That's really exciting because I'm actually, um, 
on my real estate journey as well, getting ready to uh, invest in my first property. I had a goal of uh, getting a property in the next six months. So just been reading and learning a lot and definitely very motivating to see a uh, fellow reseller stepping up their game, going outside the box a little bit. So, hey, thanks again. If you guys aren't subscribed to Rally Roots, which I'm sure you are, go give them a subscribe. But um, yeah, with that being said, that's really all I got for you guys. Just wanted to uh, bring some content, maybe some motivation, get you guys inspired. You know, if uh, you're feeling a little bit down and maybe your business isn't going the way that you wanted, just, you know, keep interacting with people, keep watching YouTube videos, go out there, get in, get into some solid habits of listing on a regular basis and, you know, just stay consistent over the long haul. That's what it's all about. Ryan says, yeah, thank you, my friend. Just got our first commercial property. That's awesome. Congratulations. So thanks everybody for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like the video. It always helps out a lot. Leave a, co a comment, any suggestions for future videos or how to improve them. I'm always open to try new things. So I uh, just want to thank you guys and hopefully you have a spectacular day and a great weekend and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.